Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob and we're here for some more Age of Wonders 3. I want to thank you guys all for your patience as I'm going back to uh, recording on Tuesdays for a little while at least because of stuff that you've probably seen in the community uh, section that I've been posting about, just stuff I've got going on IRL right now. So a um, little less Age of Wonders content probably for the next few weeks. I'm hoping things will be back to relatively normal, uh, kind of at least by the mid middle of October, I hope. Uh, but I can't say anything absolutely for certain just yet. Uh, what I can say for certain is that you guys did have great feedback as per usual, so I'm just going to jump right into it this week. Um, I want to begin with just general feedback from a lot of people regarding disgusting tench, dis disgusting tench, disgusting stench, and uh, ice nova. Um, I I don't know words. Words are really hard. So basically, I've got this theok right here trying to convert units, but forgetting to position the big beetle adjacent to units to, or to enemy units to trigger that disgusting stench ability, which actually lowers the resistance. Um, also forgetting to use Ice Nova on the Ice Queen in general, but more specifically to break the guard of the unit that I'm trying to convert. So I kind of did things the hard way there. Fortunately, it did work out for me in that last episode. Um, next comments or comments come from multiple people to hear a mod. And on me and uh, Slardy Bartfest. Uh, Black Knight didn't show up because I accidentally produced merch for a turn. So what they're talking about is this city down here where I was getting attacked by some rogue units. Um, and I had a Black Knight queued. And as you can see, he's still queued. But I had uh, a turn of produce merchandise ahead of him. So it, it went ahead and did that first. I'm actually going to leave him there, though. I wouldn't mind having a Black Knight to kind of back up these units here. An extra cavalry because I kind of want this city to be at least irritating for them to take uh, while Mogwai kind of pressures over here. Mogwai is going to have to fall back though. I'm not willing to run him in to the darkness like that until I have my druid and those dragons here. So Mogwai is just going to kind of hold this point here and um, and hopefully if the rogue sends anything his way he'll be able to annihilate it pretty easily. I'm worried about Shadow Stalkers because his army is not at all well suited to fight shadow stalkers. Um, next comment would be from Giannis, Giannis M MPA, Impregnable, and David Houston. Just a general reminder about the Arcane Forge. Uh, that would be going up in my capital, um, which is probably where I'll build the first one anyway, would be in my capital. Probably as soon as that Goblin Settler's done, I'm gonna start working on probably getting an a actually a, a palace in the capital. Um, I might just do cities one palace at a time per city, like not do them all at once, because I do want to be making warlord units pretty soon, which is what this city is working towards now. And uh, other cities still need to take time growing, um, especially this one, the one where I want to make tame trolls at. Um, so I'll be working on that. Uh, from Sarah Feingold, Authority the Sword might be useful in some places. I did look around and um, maybe not, I, I, I agree in theory, but in, in more specifically, I guess, okay, never mind. This city would be a good candidate for it because of the tomb there. But most of the cities don't have anything like just outside their borders. Although Authority the Sword is something I should theoretically have all my, on all my cities eventually. Uh, but this city could benefit from it too because it'll help uh, get those borders closer to that um, that uh, Castle Lich King out there. I think I'll try to have Authority of the Sword ready when uh, this city's borders grow. Uh, we got two turns. I'm going to let it produce housing for this turn, but I'm going to uncheck the uh, infinity symbol so that I remember to cast Authority of the Sword on that on the next turn or the turn immediately following. Um, from uh, Impregnable, use the Cheetah on Nanhild and the Untouchable and the Dreadnought for scouting. That is a great point. I just kind of absorbed them into these armies without thinking, but they should really be out doing what they do best. In particular, I'm going to have this little guy. Well, okay, I got the builder right there, so he's going to... He's, he's got plenty to... He's got stuff to dig there. So I think I'm just going to send this guy out west and start digging uh, in this area. There's really no reason to keep him around. Um, and the same thing with the Cheetah by Nanhild should really be being used to scout wherever it is. There it is. Um, most of those other units I think I want to keep with my army, but the Cheetah in particular I think would make for a good scout. The only problem is I do need to actually, you know, I'm going to put him with this group for now. Hopefully I don't forget he's there, but um, there is that Eldritch Pit kind. 
kind of in the way of where I want that cheetah to go. So I'm going to have to deal with that with Nanhild's group first. Might take a couple more turns <coughs> to get over there. So uh, we'll hold off on that for now, but he will be going out to explore. Um, from Also from Impregnable, great feedback. Consider advanced logistics soon. And uh, don't forget the rogue flyer quest. So two things here. I'm just going to tackle these back to back. So advanced logistics, actually, I'm going to get that now. Uh, we'll do advanced seafaring, and then I'll flip back to produce phalanx. The reason I'm doing it that way is because I don't have any buildings where I have the structure to make phalanxes right now anyway, so it seems to me like that's kind of wasted time. I'll get seafaring, advanced logistics, and then go through all the warlord units. Um, I do have some buildings starting uh, to be produced, like the warlord's command there, um, which I think that is the one that gives me access to... Yeah, the phalanx has come later. I think you get I think you get monster hunters and berserkers first. And then it's like phalanxes and war breeds, and then I think the final one is the manticore riders. So I'm gonna Yeah, I still have to finish Warlord Riders Command before I can even start the next structure there. Um and then yeah, the rogue quest up here. Where is that? Um Well I say rogue quest, it's a quest for my rogue. It is I think it's these guys can check in here and the terror at the mine yep okay so yeah my dragon vassals want me to get that eldritch horror and his little pet goblin cobbled thing off that mine i think i think i'm probably okay to go do that i i feel like from what i've seen out of the random fire rogue, rogue armies an army like this would probably be okay if they attack the city especially a walled city um but interesting feedback i thought from can denise is that event leaders, he said uh, event leaders symbol, the, or the, the event leaders have like a quest symbol that shows up on the minimap. I'm not seeing anything, but I do see the symbol for a city in the middle of the map. And when I clicked on that and then looked in here, as you can see, this is a city right in the middle of enemy territory, but it has a draconian independent rogue sitting in it. That is almost certainly the fire rogue. She's probably right there which is great because that means she's bothering somebody else and not me. So I don't probably have to worry about their main army coming this way. So I'll put those guys here. The orc can start his way back down to get that quest done. And might even be able to clear that dungeon there. That army's getting pretty beefy. Um, well, okay, I wouldn't mind having that guy evolve first. At least get another knight. There's also other stuff I can kill down here, though. So there's stuff for the rogue to do down there. And that's kind of what I want, is to keep everybody busy. Um, just to pop up and have a quick look around. There's nothing coming that way. Okay. And uh, the final thing I want to mention is that uh, a comment from Can Denise. I wanted to address it here because I told him that I thought this was something I would do. But I think I'm changing my mind on this. So... Basically, his idea was send these, the rogue and the dragons now, and the other dragons will catch up. Um, I was going to do that because I thought the dragons could shortcut across water somewhere, but it turns out they actually can't, not to get to the cave entrance where they need to go, which is down there, which is the one near Mogwai. Uh, they actually need to go around, and I think that it's going to be just as fast to wait, and I would actually rather have them all together because of her... Uh, bringer of goodwill on the shoes which is giving those units volunteer so they'll I'll actually save money by keeping everyone together and I don't think I will lose any time I don't think the other dragons would catch up per se because once I get a road built through here I think she's probably going to be running faster than the dragons will um, once I have that road built especially once I have advanced logistics so I'm not really that worried about that I'll, I'll wait and we'll get the dragons on the next turn which actually made me realize I should have used this guy to dig, because this guy is going to be busy building a road. He can't come back and dig that out right now, but I guess I guess he can get it later. Okay, that's it for the comments for this episode, so I'm just going to jump into the gameplay here. Now, knowing that the um, Fire Rogue event is at least mostly over for me, I probably don't need to worry too much about it, more about it. Oh, hey, I've got a goblin here. He can deal with that stuff after he's done there. Um... I think I might be okay to send the uh, Dreadnought, you know, nah. No, the Dragon City's too valuable. This army is gonna stay here for a little longer. 
I think I, I'm happy with where they're at for now. And there's not really a lot of better places he can go like immediately, um, because if you go west, it's pretty much just stuff I've cleared and then the giants. So I'd have to go past the giants. Um, and I think they're more or less, honestly, with the giants right there, I don't really even need to worry about that place. They're just blocking it off, which I think I'm fine with. I don't know that I really am going to invest the money to incorporate their city and build giants. So yeah, the rogues, the dreadnought is going to stay where he's at right now for maybe just a few more turns until that first dragon stack is done. And then, uh, then hopefully we'll know more about what's going on with the fire rogue stuff by then. Uh, those guys can stay there, and I think I was at the end of my turn, yep. So I'll go ahead and click that, and we will... Well, we're going to have to keep an eye on Mogwai, because he could, in theory, get jumped. And Zoki is actually making his move right now, just crossing my fingers here, really hoping Mogwai doesn't get jumped by something. Um, and it doesn't look... Uh, it's still Zoki's turn, so it's still possible. I'm hoping Zoki is distracted because I'm betting the city that the rogue took is probably in his territory, in either the center of it or possibly the western edge of it. Okay, so Magwa's army got away with that potentially risky move, so he's going to have to fall back. I kind of need a tower or some flying unit or like a scout in this area. I wonder if I could get anyone over there quickly. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to actually manual this just so that they don't do something. Actually, I'm going to manual this because I need healing. I need to uh, micromanage some healing on these guys. Uh, we'll start with the... I want to start with the knights, because they're sticking with Nanhild, and they need... Whoops. That is not what... It, that's like... Okay, well, it's not bad, because Nanhild gets XP for that. Okay. Now, this time, use healing, please. Thank you. Alright, and then next up is going to be Bestow Iron Heart. Also on you. We're going to let the Shock Trooper take the bulk of this because he's got Tireless. Lucky you. Fight off all the ghosts. He's probably going to one-shot each of them. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. Did he get... How did he get flanked? I put on him defense, didn't I? What? I'm so confused. I had him on defense. He's gold rank with tireless. How did he... It's like he got his guard broken somehow. I mean, I'm just confused. It's not a big deal. I'm just confused as to what just happened right there. I apparently just missed something. Um, anyway, I want the knights getting the kills on these things, so... Especially this knight, actually. Anywhere I can get XP for those knights, I should probably utilize it. In fact, I probably should have put that knight up front. Now that I think about it. Oh, there's more uh, stuff coming from the Eldritch Pit in that direction. Holy smokes, that's a lot, of not not a, a, a lot of notifications. I might actually be able to do something about all these join offers now. I just need to... Um, let me review them. So, is this one worth picking up yet? I actually think that one is i think no no that one's a little more in an area that might be a good place for the dreadnoughts army to go actually when he's done doing 
when he's done guarding this dragon city up here. Um, okay. Let's put you with him. I guess I could use that big beetle to tunnel there too, now that I think of it. All right, let's get that last fire dragon. Hurry production on that thing. And we still have over a thousand gold. I would actually like to keep that over a thousand gold though, because I'm getting the morale bonus for that too. And it'd be good for me to just, from now that I'm there, just keep it there. Um, and then also I have emergency funds in case I really need it for something immediate. Okay, uh, magic festival in my goblin city, and I think it's two turns left for growth, so we're going to have to build housing again to get it in one. Um, I've got the wetland spell ready again, and I probably, I don't think I'm going to need to use any magic spells uh, in combat this turn, but we'll see. I'm going to get this knight, let me get this knight with Nanhild. Going to get her army a bit more organized. I think it's time to probably drop the Ice Queen from their main stack. And I know I've got another knight back here. He needs to head this way as quickly as he can, because he's got strong will all ready to go. And then Nanmil and her group can go deal with them, hopefully pile some more XP onto the knights that need it. And I guess they'll keep the shock. You know what? I was thinking about this. I can, I like that shock trooper, but I was gonna give him up to get another knight. But Nanhild has bestow iron heart, so I can actually keep the shock trooper around and use him to help clear these things as long as I remember to give him bestow iron heart. So really, it's just these knights I need to level in order for me to carry on with my my plans here. So I'm just gonna send this army out and it looks like there's more stuff coming my way. I might ignore that for now for the sake of getting down here and clearing other more important structures. Uh, but let's send a unit that has a little extra movement. We'll send you because you've got the cave crawling and it's a very likely victory. Um, main goal here is patch up my units. Okay, should be plenty of opportunities for the knights to get some, get in on the action here. All right, you have guard breaker, which I probably need you to use. Let's see, which knights need levels? The one in the back needs a level. He's just level one. That one needs levels. Um, I'm gonna send this one directly at the air elemental. Well done. All right. Oh, that's a level right there. Okay. Uh, that one can't kill the flyer in one hit, but I'm thinking maybe I can soften it up. Maybe with a nice big guard breaker hit from the orc. And I may ignore the boar. Although I don't really want to take damage from him either. All right. Let's do this. Try to get a kill on this guy. He is a tier two. That should do it. Okay, that's two levels for two knights. And do I want to just let the boar hit something so that a knight can get him? I think I probably do. Actually, I, I need to anyway because, because of Bestow Iron Heart. I can still use that. So we'll see who he hits. Okay, hit that knight. That's... Probably the one I wanted you to hit, so that's fine. And I could get more, oh yeah, he's got martial arts, so I can actually do the, he's got, what, 34 to 65, let's do this. I'll get you more XP that way. Martial arts makes it a lot easier to level stuff. Okay, then it's back down there. I'm gonna rely on these, uh, my other units to deal with the little fire rogue army. They shouldn't be any threat whatsoever. Um, we'll just pile everybody in here for now. And I need to get back down there so I can try to sneak that cheetah past. In fact, I'm gonna move the cheetah right here. 
That way I don't forget he needs to run out and do some scouting of his own. And the idea here is basically get XP on these knights as fast as possible by clearing this structure, that structure, this structure, possibly coming over here and clearing some of this. Once they hit gold rank, I can immediately go after that Lich Castle. Um, and this whole time I've got this other gold rank knight catching up, so that should be perfect. Human City down here is probably one I could think about absorbing now. Um... No, 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 no. Not until the Fire Rogue event is over, I think. I'm gonna decline. In fact, I'm gonna decline probably all of these. Let me check the Tigran one, because that's one that I probably could defend pretty soon. I think that might be the next one I add to my country. I think, in fact, I should probably just send some units over there now. Yeah, why don't I get a little group together here? Um... We could send the priest, and I would like to have him paired with the bard for conversion reasons. We'll throw the butcher in just because he's really good. Um, yeah, group kind of like that. We've already got a shredder on the walls there, a sun guard, a prowler. I think three is good there for defense. We'll send these five. They'll be able to handle that little group that's coming. And uh, then hopefully on the next turn, they will be able to... You know what? Actually, how far away are you from that city? You could still hit that city on this turn, so... I would like to keep you guys in there for now. With the wall, they should be fine. Yeah. You guys stay in there for now. Um... But these guys can go start going this way, and uh, I'm going to try it. I think that Tigran City is going to be the next one I pick up. We'll just discard all these other join offers. I don't think I need those. Uh, tribute is being offered to me by the Dragon City here. Uh, a small army is just going to probably give me crappy low-tier racial units. I think uh, in this case I'm going to take the 130 gold. I think I could use it better on Warlord units. Um, got my Black Knight there. This city can go back to produce merchandise. Actually, this city might want to look at upgrading to... Oh, this city can already make monster hunters and berserkers. Oh, this one, this one does already have all the racial structures. In fact, this one, in theory, could make Orc Manticore Riders right now. It's already fully upgraded. Okay. I still want advanced logistics, because getting a main and the dragons to the front line as soon as possible, and just general fast road unit would be very helpful right now. But that is good to know, and makes me actually think that I want to build a little bit more for defense there. Maybe I'll throw a trebuchet in. Just to have something to hurl rocks at enemies. They're kind of handy on defense. Um, you know what? Sure. Why not? Why not throw a treb in? Just have a little treb on defense, throw on rocks, and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to deter enemies from coming this way. To my west is more independent halfling stuff. So the treb also might be happy, or happy, handy if I decide to go siege that. Praise the Leader Festival on Hollow Hill. Oh, I just got a random 540 gold. That's great. Okay. Domain Invasion here. I am, or at least was, aware of that. This one I didn't know the domain got invaded. That's a little concerning. Should be okay, because I'm going to have the rogue headed that way, or the druid headed that way on the next turn. All right, why don't you go here? And we're gonna build the road. Just like this, I think. Probably could have actually built it more directly from the Dragon City. 
wasn't really looking at it that closely, but uh, there's more soft dirt walls there too that I need to dig out. So yeah, this little guy's got some work cut out for him. But this guy will get a head start on the road and then with advanced logistics, they should be able to cut right through these wetlands really fast. No, no problem. I'll have him actually veer a little this way. It might be faster for them to shortcut. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens when advanced logistics is done. Nipuk is ready for production. Nipuk could actually handle growing again. So I think once the wetlands are done, I think that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, we'll get... It's going to produce more merchandise, but I think in Nipuk I'm going to start getting some mana stuff. Speaking of mana, what's my cap? 800? Need to make sure I'm spending that. I can do a lot more wetlands individual tile customization. I got a nice big chunk of it pulled up here, but I am going to need mana soon for arcane forges and temples and hopefully, um, well, arcane forges would be the end result there. So uh, for now, the wetlands, where do I want to put that? Because I don't think anybody's going to have any more significant battles this turn. I'm thinking the most efficient place is probably up here in the capital. It'd be either there or here. You know what? I'm just going to finish off this city. All wetlands. That is just one giant swamp. Swamp. Holy crap. Okay. Um, now that I have something else to spend mana on, I think it is time to get Authority of the Sword. That was a good idea. And I will open my spellbook and we'll start casting Flood Fields. Um, fairly liberally here, I think, because I've got the mana to spend on this kind of thing right now. This would be another good spot for Drench the Land. I might save that area up there, but like these tiles down here are more like thinly laid out. So I think I'll kind of target that other area more. Okay, back down to 237 mana. We'll leave it there for now, that's fine. Um, Select production for Ashmok. I think here I I probably want a, a storehouse now. I think I want this city to really grow quite a bit. This is going to be a nice uh, warlord city, um, especially with the enchanting tree back there. I just I wish the borders reach would reach to that, but I already know they won't. That um, ancient ruins out there that would have made for really cool phalanxes combined with. The enchanted tree, but that's okay. We'll get something good later. I still have plenty of time before that quest is due, so maybe, uh, maybe I could take a peek in here and see what I'd be up against. We'll send a unit that's faster. A lot of manticore riders. They're all high elves. Chance to stun. I don't think I like that. But I'd probably get some nice units if I cleared that. Some nice loot. I'm really lucky a flyer for a main. I think... You know what? We'll hang out. I'm going to hang out on that tile on this turn. That Phantasm Warrior could actually be pretty useful in this fight, but he needs to heal up a bit. Um, the Elf Manticore Riders won't be able to do much to him, so I can probably use him to be a distraction while dealing most of my damage with other units. Uh, but I need units to heal, and I want casting points. So we'll just let the Rogue sit there and heal for a turn. Those guys are good. My Scout here, he actually needs to get a better view of what's going on in and around the Rogue. Oh, there's their leader again. He will probably kill my scout. Flying, fishing. He may have other units with him, but... Um, one turn away. I might have actually used the scout to see if I could sneak up on him and, like, spell him to death, but... Nah, I don't think I have enough good... The warlord doesn't have really that great of, like, just damage-dealing spells. It's more spells to support your armies or debuff enemy units. 
Alright, well, Mogwai's army can fall back for now. I might actually position them... Where's the cave entrance? It's up there. Might send them back that way. Across these wetlands. Because even if they're sitting in the city, they could still pretty easily get jumped from the fog of war there. And I don't really want to risk that. Alright, why don't you pop up? And back down. Looks good. And this little guy is still digging. Uh, he is going to go west. You can follow the uh, follow the knight there. And this thing... Oh yeah, this... Yes, this was going to be a new city I can actually build on this turn. Because that is now... A stone fort. That's perfect. Okay. Oh. I needed wetlands here. Well, I think I actually already... Okay. I Yeah, I already cast it. I, I got a... I was a little ahead of the game on that. So, let me open my spell book and flood fields. We'll do a little bit more of it here to get things ready for that new city. Then you get on there. Found a city. Beautiful. Okay. Really growing the economy pretty quickly. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy some uh, haste berries, I think. Oh, there's a little bit he can dig out over here. We'll get that first. Get the haste berries on the next turn. All right. I think that with the main standing there ready to go, these guys can start heading out uh, down this direction towards that city so that I can incorporate it, incorporate it into my empire. Because like I was saying, as long as this wall is here, this area is pretty much safe. I guess I could go this way, but that actually is also more or less safe unless something comes across water, which is not likely for a huge army to come across the water. So I think... I think this is the way to go, down here, and because there's that bridge, and then that connects to a whole bunch of places over there. Yeah, all right, I think it's time for these guys to head out. We'll wait one more turn to remain to finish your dragon collection, and then they can head out too. Um, this can all be dug out. Yep, do my... Uh, ritualistic digging for gold, which is honestly probably added a ton of money to my empire. I have to be careful with this one where I'm digging because I'm trying to keep the southern area mostly blocked off. So he can dig. In fact, I think I just got to go down there for now. Don't want to misclick around there. Uh, this guy was going to go build a tower, and I think I was going to go build it up like in here, to watch that lava river. There's also a couple other places I could build one like there, that would be nice. For now, I think we'll, we'll head this way. May as well have you pop up and go back down. And that's it! That was a quick turn, not a whole lot of battles. end the turn there. And this next one, hopefully be able to clear a dungeon, and a main can set off with our dragons, and I am actually going to start transitioning to at least getting some gold dragons. I think it would be a good idea, because gold dragons have a morale boost, to um, put one with every stack. Uh, or try to get one with most of my heroes, anyway. At least one gold dragon per hero. Um, I think that would be really nice, including a main. I'll probably still give her one, but for now the fire dragons are good enough to accomplish what I need to accomplish with her. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but Zoki does have... Well, okay, Zoki's gone, but Zoki does have a mount, a flying mount that would be perfect for a main. Um, I just have to take it from, well, his cold dead hands, I suppose. Which is true, because he's a frostling. 
I don't know where he went, though. He may have gone west to deal with what I'm presuming is a uh, incursion in his own city. Who is this, though? That's a halfling sorcerer. I think she's the halfling sorcerer that I had in my last uh, series, who is also, I don't know if you know this, apparently levitating the wand with her. I mean, she's a sorcerer. I guess that's fine. But I think the model's not supposed to fit like that. I've never noticed that before. Okay. The computer froze up there for a second. I was getting worried. Blood Moon! Okay. All units that can do a melee attack deal more damage. That's good for me. Because most of my army are melee attackers. Um, especially Nanhild. That's great for Nanhild's group. Oh, this will be fun. In fact, that's great for the rogues group, too. Uh, well, maybe it's not great for the rogues group. It goes both ways for the rogues group, because they got to fight Manticore Riders, um, which I'm not thrilled about. But what kind of comp... Let me review my combat spells before I get, jump into this, because there are things I can do, like warp equipment would be really useful. Last Stand could be really handy. Uh, Berserk, possibly very handy. Like, there's stuff I can do to debuff them. I think warp equipment's going to be the big one. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I know it says closely matched, but I think I think I could pull this off. Let me, let me back out again. Uh, let me check the rogue spells. This strikes me as one of those battles that's really on the line. Panic attack, I got blind... Quick dash. All right. Let's try to lure them towards me if they don't charge. And maybe hang out pretty close to the exits. See if I can get one of them to charge my Phantasm Warrior. Definitely not you. All right. You can sit there. And... We'll go ahead and warp equipment on the three of you. And I'm not sure exactly what debuffs it gave them, but... Minus three defense on the one in the middle. Minus two defense and minus two attack on that one. And this one gets... Minus one defense, minus one attack. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's a good start, I think. Uh, we'll have the knight back up here. And the fire giant is actually okay where he's at, I think. You know what? The knight was okay where he was at, too. Nothing can quite reach him yet. Except for that griffin. But if the griffin wants to go after the knight... Well, that's not too big of a deal. Although I think I'd rather goad it into going after the cavalry, since the cavalry doesn't have devastating charge. I want to leave that devastating charge for the knight. Um, all right, for now, rogue can just stay there. I think everybody's okay. The flyer is expendable in this battle. I don't want to lose him, but if I'm going to lose anybody, the flyer's the expendable one. All right, hopefully with warped equipment... Unfortunately, that guy cannot get stunned. I think I would really like to lure more people into hitting him, though. Hopefully the one just charges in by himself. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good counterattack. That was a critical hit. Alright, so the stuns are what I'm primarily worried about. I don't want to let these things hit me if it can be avoided. You can handle that wyvern, or that griffin, just fine. The knight is probably going to have to go... It's a 35% chance to get stunned. That is not ideal. Um, I think I'm going to use the flyer to try to just kill this one now, so that I can use this one to use an action point on a different manacore rider. So yeah, go this way. Very close to killing it. Not quite, but... Um... Dang. I might have to move him, hit, and then quick dash, and then go hit something else. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do, actually. Move here. Get. That's a level two, which is great. Then he actually needs the healing anyway. So I will quick dash. Well, let me turn my rogue around first. Quick dash. And take away one of his action points. That still leaves him with quite a bit of movement, but not enough to do anything too terrible. You can just kill the griffin, no problem. Or not. Um, that's cool. Please don't get stunned. Okay, well he got stunned, but he got stunned on the second hit. Could have been worse. The fire giant can pretty much do whatever he wants to do. I'm thinking... The griffin is out of move. Oh, the griffin has first strike. So it... Okay. That kind of sucks, I forgot about that. Um... So the Griffin is completely out of movement, so there's no reason for me to kill it right now. The Fire Giant could kill that Berserker just to prevent it from running around and flanking anything. Um, how many things? Why are you... Oh, you're crippled. So that one can't move. So at the most, he can attack my knight once, which is not going to kill him. But that one could attack the knight. Which still wouldn't kill him, but I think... I'm thinking I want to just make sure. Or do I want to just kill the Berserker? Because if he flanks that knight, that could do like half his health and damage. The other one could do half his health and damage. We're going to play it safe. The giant has a ton of health. Okay, that I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Let's make sure that other one can't move. Okay, knight's stunned again. No big deal there. Uh, Rogue can actually finish these guys off. As long as I don't need to quick dash something. Which I might, actually. Uh, you know what? I would love for these guys to get the kill on that Manticore Rider if they could run all the way around and make that happen. Why don't you... Finish off that Manticore Rider. You could help with the... Okay. I think I've got an idea here. We'll let... I'm going to let this one... I'm going to actually have that one kill the Berserker, I think. Because the Berserker will do practically nothing to it. As long as this giant... Okay, he did get stunned. That sucks. Um, that limits my options. I was hoping he could kill that unit. Still, I think I can get away with this, so... I'll let you do that, and we're going to quick dash you again. Finish off the Manicore. And you, I can... Oh, crap. No, that doesn't quite work, because I can't get all the way behind him to free up that knight to move freely. Still not bad if this knight gets the kill on that Manticore Rider, though, I suppose. This is fine. I was hoping I could give it to this cavalry, but this is okay. The knight still can level up and get um, gold rank faster, so it's not bad. Okay, I thought I could pull that off. Uh, Big Beetle and Human Knight and 295 gold. I would say that's a pretty nice reward. In fact, that other knight can probably... You know what? I'm going to keep the cavalry with with uh, the rogue. Speaking of, they can actually just carry on right down here and get even more XP. I think the flyer is going to separate from them. I think the knight will go in the rogue stack. Excuse me, because I, I need, um... Yeah, I think I would rather have the knight getting the XP and leveling up. I just like knights better than flyers in general. But for this particular move, I think we're going on to wetlands. We'll send the goblin to start this fight. Alright, uh, Rogue's out of healing for this turn. 
it's okay. I don't think I'm gonna need it here. It's not very badly. Let's get that fire giant up there. He's gonna be immune to some of the crap that's in here. Phantasm Warrior, on the other hand, will not be, so I need to be more careful with him. Oh no, five damage. All right, guys, uh, that Sun Guard is going to suck, but you do have Martial Arts and Devastating Charge, so I think you'll be okay. Oh, target has first strike, so Devastating Charge just doesn't matter at all. Well, I still have Martial Arts, and that guy fumbled pretty hard, so I'm fine. Oh, what to do over here? It's another Sun Guard. I think the Giant has an answer for that. It's called a Giant Flaming Sword. And I'm just gonna have... You know, I'm gonna sprint and flank those guys. Oh, I should remember to try to charm. I could have charmed the Berserker in the last battle. Maybe I'll try to get that Engineer. Aw, oh, don't, don't fumble. Maybe I can get that Engineer. I need to uh, get the Big Beetle up there. Or the Sun Guard. I would take either. Well, this guy's closer now. 65% chance, but I need to get the beetle, beetle closer. I don't think he can use a Splendor Bus for another turn, though, so that's that's fine. I'll just leave him alive for now. Um, yeah, there's not really anything for those units to do other than just sit around. Mostly just need to focus on the stuff going on over here. Which the flyer can kind of help with. Although the flyer is low on health. So I don't want to be too risky, but I think he'll be okay. Maybe the rogue can just kind of finish that off. That's. Ah, oh, man. Not enough damage. Oh, wait. If I move closer, I can move one space closer. Okay, there we go. Uh, unless you fumble. <laughs> ah, nuts. Okay, I'm still gonna have to kill this guy with the knight, which is gonna leave another engineer to run around doing whatever he wants for a turn. You know what? This engineer's gonna die. The other one's the one I'll try to convert, or whatever. Everybody's fine. Alright, go ahead and do whatever you want. Flashbang, blinded. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, I can get him out of the way and I think get the big beetle close enough. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's go for it and have the giant in position just in case he says no. I want to check behind you before you make this decision. Wrong decision. Alright, now I'm going to leave the flyer behind, I'm afraid. There's no place for him in the rogue army. We'll just keep piling on the human knights, which I seem to just be getting from everywhere. That being said, still need these guys along for the ride because we do have to kill an eldritch horror, so I will keep them around for now. Okay, that is looking good. 
Um, what happened over here? There was a city I was going to absorb, and then the fire rogue stuff didn't come through here, I guess? Last I saw it was over here. Oh, it ran back. Okay, well that means I still can't absorb the city on this turn. And I probably am not going to try to kill those things right now. Might actually just hang on to that until I really need extra casting points. It's handy to have those on hand. Actually, I kind of need extra casting points now, but I could live I could live without them. All right, I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of the Eldritch Pit, then probably go clear this. I'm hoping by then I really need to power level these knights. These guys really have to level up. Very likely victory. That's great. We've got some trolls to fight. That should be plenty of XP. I uh, just want to prevent that spider from webbing me. But otherwise, I think we're good for manual combat here. Alright. Knights are in pretty good shape, except for this guy over here, so I'll go ahead and heal him. I want the spider to try to web, preferably, the shock trooper, I think. He's got the most defense. So if the spider is going to try to web anything, I would prefer it to be him. This guy needs healing, so let's take care of that. Alright, I think I like this setup. Also, the troll's going to go after him. I... I think I'm going to intentionally expose one of these knights to an attack from that troll. I know it's got a guard breaker, but I the remember units get XP from being hit by other melee units, so still useful to take a couple hits. Same could be said for this knight here. I think I'll move him like there so the ward could come come after him. All right, good. Web did not work. Troll went for exactly who I wanted it to go for. They pretty much all did exactly what I wanted them to do. That is very good news. Um, now if I could soften that troll up. Maybe a couple range. You know what, I'm gonna bestow Iron Heart. After I get this knight out. This guy is already the gold rank, so he actually doesn't need the XP. Um, okay, here's what we can do. Ride around, get behind, kill the warg. You get a level. You get Bastar and Heart to help you do this without getting hurt. I want him to actually get the kill, though. That's the trick. Um, well, I think there's a pretty simple answer for the spider, at least. I'm just going to use him. Unfortunately, I'm disgusting both of my guys there, but that's okay. Troll will... You know, he can go after whoever he really wants to go after, I suppose. I'm going to leave that knight on defense. Actually, it's actually, I will take less damage attack. Especially when you factor in both martial arts on me and overwhelm on him. Alright, we'll let's try to get another level for... Or close to another level for one of these guys. We'll see who he attacks. Alright, goes for the flank attack on that one. Okay. Um, Thalecrack cannot do any more healing at the moment. You run all the way behind. Really would like... He's got the shield, he's got martial arts. Back off so you're not upset. This would give him a lot of progress towards the next level, but it also could cause him to take a lot of damage. But... You can kill him in two hits, so... Not as much as I thought. 
Okay, good. Two more levels for those guys. Uh, another item with Holy Champion on it, as well as more resistance. Uh, I'll take it. I don't really remember my gear situation. I don't really need Holy Champion on this guy. But I'm sure somebody else could use it. Might give it to the... Might give it to a main. Or the Orc. The Orc could use it. He's not getting Holy Champion from any other sources, as far as I know. Where'd he go? He's got strong will. He doesn't have holy... I think this would be a good fit for the orc. Just anything to boost up his resistance is probably worthwhile. So yeah, send that his way. All right, and then you guys... Oh, you can make it up there already, or we could make it to the Eldritch Pit. Um, unfortunately, you can't convert snakes. You can charm them, you can use Befriend Animal, but you can't convert them. And I am not willing to wait for the Druid or the Orc to get all the way over here to deal with this, so this is just going to have to go now. Um, how close are you guys to leveling again? That one's got 75, that one's at 100. I think I could get a level for both of them on this next battle. That's veteran, then they'd be at expert. I'm gonna still have to do... So I was thinking it'd be really nice if I could get the regrowth perk before sending... Because that, that'll give me the regrowth perk. I was thinking it'd be really nice if I could hit this, level them all up, hit this, level them up again, and then go down here and go after the Lich Castle with the regrowth buff already active. But I don't know if there's really an exp enough XP that I can gain here in order to do that. So for now, I will send Nanhild by herself because there will probably be an item in here. Definitely no mercy here. I do need to keep an eye on that, but for now, levels are way more important for Nanhild's group. Snakes moving up and mostly just threats of shocking, but not stunning from this army. So the knights should be fine. I'm gonna pretty much put, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna put the two, the two knights that need to level up. They're just gonna stand in front and take everything, this battle. I think they should be able to handle it. I'll keep the other units kind of on a near standby just in case, but should be fine. Spread them out so they don't have to smell that nasty big beetle. Always want to use healing first because that does have a cooldown on it so you could potentially get it uh, more than once per battle. Having quick dash right now would be great for these knights that I'm trying to level. Okay, you can Devastating Charge that one. You can handle the Panther, no problem. I'm just gonna give you the Star and Heart before you do it. Okay, that's another level for him. So he's already at Elite Rank. I bet I could get him to Gold. I might be able to get both of them there. We'll see. Even if they all gang up on that Knight, there's not gonna be much they do. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really going to just leave this all to the knights. You guys can all just back up. I'll, yeah, I'll, that's fine, actually. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Use the other units to absorb attacks of opportunity to slow the enemies down while the two knights that I want to level do all the heavy hitting. And if you just want to sit there throwing shock bolts, that is also okay. Okay, he got a level two. That's great. So he's at 109. This one's... No, not that one. This one is at... 128, so he needs more. We'll let him have it. This guy can go down and start dealing with the air elemental, but I think I'm just gonna wait because this one doesn't need XP quite as badly. So I wanna have them both level up. So yeah, everybody sit on defense. Okay, 
Alright, you went after the one I would have preferred you go after, so that's fine. How you doing now? 119 XP? You're really the only unit he can attack. And I'll take slightly, I'll get slightly more experience for this guy if I put him on defense and let the snake hit me. Not to mention the fact that I can now heal. So that's also quite useful. I will send you around and get some healing on this guy in the back. And I think I'll just leave them there. The rest should sort itself out. Okay, now you're up to 140. Yeah, he's definitely making it to gold rank. And this one probably will too. Okay, that's really good. I should have used... Uh, I should have used uh, Touch by Faith on one of them. But anyway, they're both really close. Ooh, Claws of the Prowler. Plus one defense and pounce. That's a great item for a warlord with tireless. I think that's going to go to Mogwai. Um, so basically what I was saying, these guys are now at silver rank, which means I can definitely get them to gold by going after this structure. Oh, I could do it on this turn. Well, this is perfect. And then I'll get regrowth on all of them. And the only person who's gonna have to sit out the next battle is probably gonna be the big beetle. But otherwise, Nandil's army is already more or less capable of clearing, or will already be more or less capable of clearing the necromancer structures, the Lich King castles. And they'll just have one extra unit when that other gold rank knight shows up. All right, Orc Exalted incoming. Um, we'll let him go after this knight here, I think. We'll back Nanhild up here, get the goblin out of the way because he's disgusting. Hopefully he goes after one of these two knights. I'd be fine with either one. In fact, I think I can guarantee he does. Okay. I went after the stronger of the two, which kind of surprises me. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and use Mastar and hire on you since you're the one fighting now. Probably wouldn't mind softening him up because really all these guys need now is kills. Well, actually, what I could do is just, uh, just flank him. This guy. Ah, okay, that's what's going on. Absorb pain back there. Okay, well, he did hit gold rank. There we go, and he get a gold rank, so that's all done now. So pretty much just need to keep everybody alive, which shouldn't be an issue dealing with. Yeah, pretty much the rest of it's just martyrs. So now you guys can all charge. Um, I might take some time here and let healing come back so Nanhild can heal the other knight. Okay, that is rude. can touch by faith on, well, touch by faith on this one. I feel like I may have missed some units to convert with Nanhild in this episode, so I apologize for that. These guys I probably could, but I, I just don't see the point of having, well, I don't know, having an absorbed pain unit would be handy. Maybe I will try to convert one of these guys. I could have... Oh, uh, you know what? I should have tried to convert the Exalted. I, I'm pretty sure you can. I don't... I don't think they have spirit immunity. I, I could be wrong about that. But you know what? Let's just look it up right now and find out. And I think that was a... Orc Exalted? As spirit... Okay, they do have 100% spirit protection. But these little martyrs I should be able to get. More just a question of which one do I want. I guess I want that one to die because he's threatening the one 
knight that's most damaged, so I'm afraid you have to go. And we'll just squish all this stuff. And that just leaves one. Oh, never mind, two. Die already. Okay, you position yourself there. And he'll go in for the convert. Well, you have made your decision, sir. And it was the wrong one. All right, that is... That really makes me happy. They are ready to go. They could actually clear this Lich Castle, too. Probably makes more sense to clear that one first, actually. Because this knight is still in the process of catching up. He can hit those haste berries next turn, too. Um, what happened to the builder? I thought I... Where'd, where'd the builder go that was making... Oh no, it was a settler. Duh. Okay, the settler made the city. The builder made the fort a long time ago. Okay, the settler just got consumed when he made the city. Okay, um... Probably build housing for the new city. Let it grow as fast as it can. You can start picking these out. There's already a hole there, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, Nanhild's group can start heading back this way, I think. And clear some Lich Castles. Get them out of here. Maybe get some really nice items, too. Okay, advanced logistics. Four turns. It's a bit of an investment, but I think it's worth it. Especially now that I am actually building roads. Speaking of roads, I need to wrap this episode up here pretty soon, but I can go on a little longer. But yeah, speaking of roads, this guy can make roads here. That'll go down to this city. In fact, go into the city. And can you get one more there? Perfect, okay. So that is done, which is just in time. For Emain's army to head out, they can go this way and then go quickly across all those wetlands. Meanwhile, these guys can run on ahead because they've got to get down. Yeah, that's right. They got to get down there. So everyone's kind of going the same direction at the moment. And I should notice if anything tries to sneak up on my city here. So. Ah, uh, there's a mana node out here that I never did clear. That's okay, though. All right, now that that's done, um, let's go ahead and start the Burrow of Gold, because I do want to get some Spirit Dragons. And I kind of trapped the gobble. Oh, never mind, he was just digging there. Let's have him run down, get those haste berries, then come back up and dig a bit more. Okay, looking good. Um, I am going to have to call it here. I think this episode's gone a little bit over. I, I kind of got a little distracted and carried away, but I really wanted to finish things with Nanhild. But anyway, the big news for this episode, Nanhild's army can now clear... Uh, Thanks to the strong will from the gold rank promotion on those knights, in case you guys didn't know what I was talking about. Um, but basically, when knights hit gold rank, they get that strong will promotion, which gives them spirit protection 100%, which means the Dread Reapers can't one hit kill them with their um, invoke death ability. So, Nanode's army, good to go for clearing uh, these nasty undead lich castles. Um, the other big news is the Druid's dragons are all done. That is one glorious stack right there with actually nice and reduced maintenance cost, only 16 per dragon. Not bad because of that bringer of goodwill. This is a really good, that's the best possible uh, hero that could have those boots at this time. So that is very good. And uh, yeah, I think that's all there really is going on. So go ahead and leave your feedback in the comments. One thing, um, so with regard to this dragon city, do you guys think I'm making the right call here? Sending the dreadnought out? Do you think this city is safe? I, I don't really know. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where, like, I do, the moment I leave, something shows up. You know how it is, but, you know, I, I, I could be wrong about that. 
Just let me know what you think, or whether I need to get somebody else down here to guard this, or, or sit some units on it. I could also send um, some of these guys back if I need to, just to have some units in it. Or I could always just hurry another fire dragon and just let him sit on there for a while. It, you guys can let me know what you think. I think the city seems safe because I've got all the surrounding cave entrances blocked off. I would know if something was coming. But um, just let me know what you think uh, with that or anything else. As always, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Braden, Jimbro, Tarsak, and Tibian Army. Thanks so much, everybody.